Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain, no difference, was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain, no difference, was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Akbar. They didn't even care he resembled the Prophet. Oh, the calamity, how catastrophic. As he fell from his horse, he called a saint's name. He remembered a sughra, the promise he made. Now she sits in Medina, crying out his name. She cries, hits her head, she can't even see. But knows what's ahead, she puts her hand on her chest. Now she feels the pain, but it isn't even close to the pain of you. Ibn Hussein, when his heart with the arrow, out it came. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Awesome. You were the gift of a son to the Ahlul Bayt. It was written in your fate that today's the day that you open your locket and take out the message. But how could he let you go? You're Hassan's image. There was no other who could help you concede your desire, your wish, and request to proceed. Oh God, how did Rama feel when he left in one piece? But to the tent came back in pieces. The pain did increase. Now who will save your mother and troubles her ease? Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Asghar, the little ten months old, how did he die thirsty like a soldier bold? Could he even speak, talk, think, chat, move, fall, fall down from his cradle? Did he? I can't believe the infant was taken to battle the clan of Yazid. Not even a drop of water or mercy or sympathy was given by the devils, the cursed army. Alas, they quenched his thirst with an arrow over Bob sorrow. When she held his hold, her body in the wrap of her arms, and the blood was not thrown at the blood was slapped on his face so that you can see how Hussein was left with nothing except agony. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled at their horses and their bodies were slain. Abbas. Oh, his hands wrote the story. The hands that were clipped, chopped, daggered, and arrow, and his ride covered in a flood of knives and lives were lost. He remembered his water bag, Sakina for water, pleads, fought like a hero, dodged all those arrows. Except when they cheated and chopped his both arms, he fell on his face, his heart hold, blood from his heart flowed in synchrony with water from his bag. I'm sorry, oh Sakina, he screamed. He called out for his master. Hussein, I plead, please come rescue me. Wipe the blood from his eyes. He saw his face and smiled to be left alone on the bank of Euphrates. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child or grown man when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Let's now listen to the story of Hussein, a story full with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain. Now you've listened to the story of Hussein, a story filled with horror, grief and pain. No difference was seen in a child, a grown man, when they trampled their horses and bodies were slain.